Hello and welcome to the newsroom from the BBC World Service with me, Jeanette Jalil. The leader of the world's most reclusive nation has warned that North Korea is facing a great crisis. The state news agency said that Kim Jong-un had chastised senior officials over an unspecified grave incident. One report said that some of them had been replaced. North Korea has repeatedly claimed not to have recorded a single coronavirus case. So I asked our reporter in Seoul, Nari Kim, if the North Korean leader's comments meant he has finally acknowledged that COVID-19 has arrived in his country. He did not say the name of the coronavirus or COVID-19, but basically he's just saying that, you know, and he was punishing uh, these people of the leadership that, you know, coronic irresponsibility and they are not capable of um, protecting his people and the country. So basically, we can assume that the country is affected by the COVID-19. Because in the past, uh, North Korea has said that it has had no cases of COVID, which a lot of people have found very hard to believe. But it has shut its borders. And a lot of people think that that's caused great economic hardship, perhaps even famine in parts of North Korea. That is true. I mean, since the a uh, coronavirus broke out in um, 2020. North Korea has reported zero cases. But yes, it, it is true that they restricted restrictions trade uh, with China, even, um, and they, they sealed the border. So their actions actually speak louder than words. And also, um, the recent reports shows that, you know, they were, uh, the people are getting hungrier and their death tolls are ri rising from the starvation. And Kim Jong-un is calling for help uh, indirectly. This reshuffling of this leadership is um, showing that, you know, we are ready to get help from the international um, aid. Uh, he's actually calling out, saying that, you know, yes, people are dying here. They need help. So he is actually admitting that uh, there's some trouble and crisis going on um, and people are dying there. Nari Kim. Bringing to an end this edition of the Newsroom Programme with me, Jeanette Jalil. Thanks for listening.